welcome to the channel. Today we have an exciting review of the Mandalorian GameStop exclusive IG-11 from the Credit Collection. Uh, I was really excited uh, for this figure. I really, really like IG-11. He's one of my favorite characters from the Mandalorian. And to see we get a second figure of him, actually I really, really dig the paint job and that's what kind of drove me to get in this figure. So let's take a close look at the packaging because I'm really excited to get this guy open. So as you can see, what the reason why it's called the credit collection, one, it comes with credits, but it's also because of the concept art at the end of the, at the, end of the episodes. But I just think this paint job looks so cool. IG-11 is such an awesome character. It actually makes you sad to even open these because they're so nice. But as you can see, there's a great image of them. I don't even know. That's not even a bio. <laughs> actually, it might be. But let's open this guy up, what do you say? Now that we got this figure out of the packaging, I absolutely love it. I love the first version of him. You know, although it's just like a, it's just basically IG-88. I don't have IG-88, I have IG-11 and I have two of them, so I'm really happy. But like first and foremost, I, there is one flaw I have, and it's not really a flaw, it's just a suggestion to Hasbro. The credit it comes with, right? It's cool. They should have made it a stand. Right? They should have put a little peg holder in it. This would have been a really cool stand. But other than that, it's really not a big deal. It's kind of cool to have a little credit. Um, we'll go over the blasters real quick. It's the same blasters that come with the original IG-11, uh, you know? And plus, we've seen these blasters many times with Stormtroopers. So, you know, I'm sure other characters do. But they're cool. So let's go over the figure real quick. I really, really love um, the paint. I mean, I really do. That's what, and that's what gets it for me is the paint. You know, it's just a really, really cool design. Um, the detail is really nice. I just love this character. And it, and it helps that he's voiced by Taika Watiki, who is like one of my favorite directors and creators of this modern age. You know, what he did with Thor Ragnarok and he voiced Korg. And the, his episode of The Mandalorian is like top three best episode in my opinion. I think my favorite episode is probably the first episode of season one. And not season one, the first episode of season two, that directed by John Favreau. I just love that episode. But I just think what I, I think it's kind of cool to be able to have another character uh, by Tucker with TV in my collection. Um, let's go over the articulation. So, you know, his head moves. It's pretty cool. See, I'm gonna probably use that as the top of his head. But does this move up here? I don't think it does. I think mine, I don't know. I don't wanna work it. Mine's pretty stiff. Um, his arms move, which I think is cool to have an articulated figure, especially, and then, you know, especially because it's like a droid and it's kind of like goofy looking, but even this moves up here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gotta make sure I bend it properly back. Don't want to break this figure. Does he move anywhere else? See, it's kind of weird. Um, sorry guys, I'm like trying to figure out this figure, because I gotta be honest, I didn't really play with my other IG-11. Uh, <laughs> It looks like he has like an ab crunch. Yeah, he's kind of has an ab, yeah, he's an ab crunch. It's kind of cool. I don't know, this one makes me like paranoid to move because he's so like, I don't know, skinny. His leg moves up. He has, he has a knee, a, a knee joint, and he goes up and down and he has no ankle pivot. So it's not a whole bunch of articulation, but again, considering the fact that he's a droid, um, I feel like the articulation is pretty good. Um, I mean, honestly, and there's probably things I missed, uh, you know, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a little afraid to play with this guy. I, mean, I don't want to, I don't want to damage him because he's so like, like he's thin and I really like it. So I'd much rather sacrifice the review than the figure. Uh, but all in all, I really like this figure. Let's get some size comparisons. It is IG-11 next to the uh, Imperial Remnant Trooper and the Best Scar Mando. They look awesome. Even with the paint apps, it still looks great. Uh, it makes me want to, I, I did get another, uh, you know, the credit collection, uh, but I would like to eventually track down the whole, the whole collection, but I don't want to pay crazy prices for it. So, you know, I don't know when that would be, but all in all, I really like this figure guys. I hope you guys liked the review. Sorry about the articulation portion. I just don't really want to play with the figure. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a downfall of the figure, but I think it's more of a downfall of me. I don't want to break the figure. And, and honestly, it probably is fine, but I just don't want to try. But like this video, comment down below, and if you can, subscribe.